This video will show you how to help when someone is having a tonic-clonic seizure. Tonic-clonic seizures are the type of seizure most people recognise. They used to be called grand mal seizures. Someone having a tonic-clonic seizure goes stiff, loses consciousness, falls to the floor and begins to jerk or convulse. They may go blue around the mouth due to irregular breathing. Sometimes they may lose control of their bladder or bowels and bite their tongue or the inside of their mouth. Let's see what a tonic-clonic seizure can look like and how you can help. Yeah, plumber will call at 11 o'clock on Friday. That's fine, Mrs Mills, don't worry. If any more problems in the meantime, just give us a call back. Bye. Well, she's lovely, isn't she? I spoke to her the other day. She is, she's really nice. I think it's craft tea time. No sugar, right? Perfect, thank you. Alex? Alex? If someone is having a tonic-clonic seizure, you'll need to prevent them from hurting themselves. Time how long the seizure lasts. A seizures longer than five minutes can be dangerous. Let's get everything out of your way. Remove any objects that could cause injury, such as furniture or personal belongings. Protect their head with something soft like a cushion, coat or jumper. OK. All right, Alex, have you got anything in your bag? Some information for me? Tell me what to do. Let's have a look. Look for an epilepsy identity card or identity jewellery, as it may give you information about their seizures and what to do. Ah, excellent. Don't restrain them and don't try to move them unless they're in danger. Okay, you're coming around a little bit now for me. Don't put anything in their mouth, as this could cause injury to them or you. You're all right. It's not possible to bring someone around from a seizure, but you can be calmly reassuring. You've had a seizure. I want to put you in a recovery position. All right, I need to move this arm for you, OK? Once the jerking has stopped and the person's muscles have relaxed, put them in the recovery position. Put the arm nearest to you at a right angle to the body. Bring the other arm across the person's chest and tuck their hand under their cheek. Bring the knee furthest away from you into a right angle so the foot is flat on the floor. Pull on the knee, rolling the person towards you onto their side, whilst protecting their head with the other hand. Adjust the top leg so that it's at a right angle and the person can't roll onto their back. Well done, Alex. Well done. OK, Alex, you're all right. Tilt their head back slightly to keep their airway open. Stay with them until they are fully recovered. All right. You're right, Alex. You're coming around a bit now. Oh, yeah. I've got a really bad headache. Don't give them anything to eat or drink until they are fully recovered. You hurt your head? Mm -hmm. Just a bit sore. A bit sore. A tonic clonic seizure isn't usually a medical emergency, and you may not need to call an ambulance. You should call an ambulance if you know it's the person's first seizure. The seizure lasts for more than five minutes. They have one tonic clonic seizure after another without regaining consciousness between seizures. They are injured during the seizure, or they have trouble breathing after the seizure has stopped. So in summary, you should cushion the head, time the seizure, call an ambulance if the seizure lasts for more than five minutes, another seizure starts before they regain consciousness, they are injured or they have trouble breathing after the seizure has stopped.